Hi guys, Nikki here. Hi, and I'm Perry. And welcome to our YouTube channel, The Divine Truth Experience. So today guys, in this video, uh, what Nikki and I want to talk about is all about aligning um, our wills, Nikki and I, and also we want to share with you something that we've learned, um, the importance of sharing yourself and sharing your feelings with others and what massive and positive impact that has on your relationships in general. Um, so Nikki and I in this video are going to talk about some little experiences that we've been through where we've had to open our hearts, share ourselves when we were a little bit resistive to, um, but we did it and um, the effects of that have just been so powerful which is why we want to share and uh, encourage you guys to do it as well. So yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Also uh, one cool thing is that we've We've got a bit more technology, um, so we're actually shooting today on a, on a new camera and also we're using uh, a field monitor as well. So um, it's quite exciting just to see how that all works out. Um, so maybe you guys may see a difference with this video compared to all the others. We're not sure yet. It's just another little experiment that we're doing. So yeah, we're excited about that. So where should we start then? Where to start? Um, should we talk about our experience yeah. first? Yeah. Yeah. So um, basically a few weeks ago, um, Nick and I, obviously we live together, so we get to feel each other's emotions uh, every day, depending on what we're going through. Um, and I guess over the months we've been kind of like working through our own stuff and then just recently we had our own kind of little uh, feelings where we had to open and, and, and share how we were feeling t together. Um, and it was a bit uncomfortable because we had to confront each other and because we've been become like best mates over over the months it was the first time we really had to kind of like open our hearts and some of like the things that were a bit uncomfortable in sharing um nick and i both have injuries with like confrontation uh, confrontations um especially with men um but what's cool is we're mates and um you know we're not going to do any harm to each other but still <laughs> um it was a little bit comfortable uncomfortable however what happened was actually after the conversation, something really beautiful opened up, and um, just like all these new creative ideas started to flow. So uh, how did it start? I can't, I'm, yeah, well, I've forgotten what happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Basically, uh, what happened was um, because me and Perry live in Tevin, we're doing all these projects. So we're doing our YouTube videos, right. the editing, and then also uh, looking at you know the seminar stuff and presenting that, and all the planning that goes along with it we like beforehand we were basically kind of just like we didn't really have a, a plan no structure going. Yeah, we had no, no structure. structure yeah and we were kind of just going oh yeah today i'm gonna sort these few bits out and whatnot and like like my feelings were that like because i was kind of like okay right like there's no there's nothing really like happening here that's in alignment basically with what we want to do in terms of what we want to do in terms of um, reaching our long-term goals in, in our passions and desires of sharing God's truth with others so you know I, I started um, feeling that um, like like the workload of things was kind of a bit more like of me um, and that's and I was thinking um, that was because of like you've still got a job haven't you and stuff mm -hmm. and I'm I don't have a job I'm working on all the divine truth stuff and I was like, okay, I think it's important that um, we both take time to learn all these new things to, like together, rather than just one person kind of doing it and then like leaving it like that. Um, just because what if you know something could happen to like me, for example, and then Perry's is like, oh crap, like what do I do with all this stuff? Um, so I was kind of feeling like, like you know, we should be more in harmony with each other basically and talk to each other openly about how we split our time how you know giving like me time to work on my emotions um rather than like looking after all the like te technical stuff and all the material stuff and uh, and then also how that impacts on perry and and then ensuring that he has time to then work on his emotions whilst also learning all this stuff as well so it was a bit up in the air initially and we we're just going with it but now as we've be become more busier we've been kind of like right we need to get a solid structure in place and really plan out what we want to do and then we need to we, we, we got to a point when we're like okay 
forget, like, I can say what I think is the right thing to do, and Eric say what he feels is the right thing to do, but in the back of our minds, we're both thinking, okay, how does God see this situation, what we're doing? How can we bring our wills in alignment, or more in alignment, with God's feelings on what's happening, basically, rather than me just going, no, I think we should do this like this, and then you thinking, oh, we should do things like this, actually, mm -hmm. and then just not, like, being open to, like, talking like openly about things and then trying to get to like God's viewpoint on the matter. So, um, so yeah, I mean, we start, we, we went for a, a little uh, meeting in, uh, in one of the coffee shops nearby. Yeah. Should we, can I just explain a little bit before that? Yeah. So what happened is like, I, um, do you know, if, if you ever come home one to your, to your partner or you, in your work and all your business and you can feel something that's a bit off, but then you don't say anything. Well, um, one night yeah. I came home and I could feel like some of what was going on with Nikki, but I didn't really want to say anything, um, so I didn't. Um, and then Nikki was able to go off. Actually, he was very humble, and you know he went off and felt his emotions about something, um, how he was feeling about the whole situation of basically me and Nikki not communicating as effectively as uh, would be possible if we were just open and, and honest as as God wants us to be. And so, so Nikki eventually did go off and feel his emotions. And the next day, when I was at work, uh, I was feeling, you know what? I need to sort this out with Nikki. And I didn't let it go on, you know, for days and weeks and months like yeah. I had them in the past, um, or maybe some of you guys still do in your relationships. I thought, you know what? My relationship with Nikki is more important um, than any of like the stuff that we're doing together, as in like project-wise. So I need to clear this. So I just sent him a message that same day after I felt that there was like a little gray area between us. I said, mate, yeah. I want to meet up with you tomorrow or sometime this week so we can have an open, honest chat and um, just share our feelings. And Nikki jumped out the chance and, uh, and yeah, so that's what we did. Yeah, it was really good because I was kind of getting, the feelings I was getting was I was feeling a bit frustrated. Like I was kind of like, okay, like feeling like a lot of this stuff's been down, left to me to do kind of thing. And I went off, um, and I let myself feel like some anger and then I've got to some other feelings as well. And like when I was in that feeling, I was kind of praying, I was praying to God as well. And I was, I was just saying, God, please, I'd love an opportunity where now that I've let go of some of this, that an opportunity comes up there whereby I can speak with Perry about everything that's been going on. And, uh, and then we can like actually move forward with what we want to do. I mean, I want to do it. In, in the sense of whatever you feel is best, God. Like, like forget about, you know, kind of like my, what I feel is the right direction we should do. And I just want to get that guidance from you, God, and, and, and stuff, basically. And as I went through those emotions and I was praying to God about having that opportunity to speak with Perry, the next morning, Perry sent me that text, like you just mentioned, saying, oh, do you want to like have a talk about like what's going on? And I was like, yes, I was like, this is amazing. I got come through some emotion. And then God's provided the opportunity that, you know, for me and Perry to just speak about what's happened um, and what's been going on and trying to get that action, uh, action plan together. So that's what we did, didn't we? And the next morning, yeah. we yeah. went to the coffee shop. Yeah, we, we just met up and just kind of like sat down as uh, maybe many of you have done in your relationships in the past, but why we're mentioning it today is because we've it's, it's fresh for us again. So we, and we've just felt that the power of what happens when you open your heart. So Nikki and I we had a discussion for maybe two three hours, just saying how we're feeling and a lot of the stuff that we've been feeling about each other and thinking were actually not what the other person was even thinking and feeling as well. So there was some misunderstandings and miscommunications. And once we got all that cleared up, we was able to then um, put some action plans together on the desires that we've been having over the months. And since then, we're just getting so much stuff done and so yeah. many projects, a lot of the goals that we're getting done, we've got a lot more structure around how we want to basically live our lives and, and, and work together. So it's been really beautiful from kind of having a bit of a sticky gray area to openly chatting about it, wouldn't left, any, no stone was left unturned. Yeah. And we just said it how it was um, and we both, you know, understand Nikki hasn't got anything against me and I don't have any against him it's just expressing your feelings and sharing yeah. and uh, yeah and we came together closer the desire grew stronger for what we want to do together 
And now the beauty of it is we've got this structure, a new uh, working relationship in, in order to get things done more efficiently as well. Yeah, which is just so important for obviously everything that we want to do. And like, I, I, I realized then how important it is in terms of, you know, from God's perspective to just always share the feelings with someone like as quickly mm. as you can. I mean, you know, not, I'd say if you're angry, you know, don't talk to someone in anger. Yeah. I'd say first go away and feel your anger, right? Because otherwise you'd just be projecting it out at the person. And that's what I did. I started, re I started feeling frustrated about things. And then I went off and felt some of my anger in the forest, <laughs> in, in the forest nearby where we live and, and whatnot, and then got through that emotion. And, uh, and then the opportunity will come. God will give you the opportunity where you can actually then speak to the person. And when you're in that space, you're then loving and you're in truth and you, you, know, you, don't, you don't start getting angry. And when we're in the conversation together, I could just share exactly you know, what I felt about things and not at any point I was getting angry or frustrated or agitated. I was just dead calm and I managed to say you know, what I wanted to convey like, to Perry in a loving way. And, um, and I guess this links back to an amazing uh, principle that I've like, recently come to a realisation of. And that is how like, God would like us to um, build and grow in relationships with not just God, but everyone else. And it's like God's already shown us through our relationship with God how God will love us to interact with others. So, for example, I know for a fact that I will not be able to connect with God unless I'm in truth, basically, in terms of my truth of my feelings at that moment in time. You know, whether it's an error or, or not, I still have to be open and, and tell God how I'm feeling at that moment, whether I'm angry with God or whether I'm angry with someone else, whether I'm in, in some fear or, you know, if I'm trying to avoid something. Like, God's showing me in that interaction with God that, okay, when I'm not in truth with my feelings, like, my connection with God cannot be, is not there, it won't happen. And it's like, since I've realised that, I've realised, ah, okay. So for my relationships to work with other people, so my family, my friends, um, and then, you know, like, other things, it's like, ah, okay. So through my relationship with God, I've realised that, it's all about just always being truthful with other people as well because then you get to feel them more, feel their emotions. You can understand more things about yourself and them in that situation as well. And when you're in truth, it actually does bring up emotions and those emotions, if you let them, those emotions come up and address them, you can just move on. And that's exactly what me and Perry experienced. And like even in, in the conversation, like I was a bit scared. Like I was a bit, I was a bit um, nervous because I didn't know how it would go down, basically, when we were talking. And I remember I was, I was there just before, and I could feel like, this, like my fear was coming up, and I let myself just shake kind of thing. Like, in, in the coffee shop as I was talking, my voice was going a bit, like, wavery as well. <laughs> um, but then after, like, 10 minutes, I was okay, because I, I could feel that Perry was also open to talking about things, and... Um, and I could see that what was happening was actually a good thing. Um, so, so yeah, I mean, like we realised that if me and Perry can't like communicate freely and truthfully with just me and him, then we're absolutely screwed when it comes to us doing bigger projects with potentially more people, and you know, trying to you know align ourselves in harmony with how God feels on certain topics all the time. Like, so it's just been awesome for me and Perry to like experiment with this between me and him and our projects, you know, because other things, other relationships and then soulmate relationship, it's all based on that, that truth. So it's like, if we can't do it together, then we won't be able to do it with what any, you know, all of these other people. So, yeah. Yeah, it's just uh, the lessons I've been learning uh, currently are that feeling of expressing myself. Um, and what, I'm, what I start to learn is, I start to learn what desires are in my heart, and then the desires start to open up and get released. Um, so it's not just maybe, you know, some, you know, some grey areas in your life that you want to discuss with a partner or anything. A part of expressing yourself is expressing your true nature and your thoughts and your desires and your passions. And uh, it's just a really beautiful way God's designed it, how you can get to know yourself. Um, 
in the past I tend to like just observe quite a bit and not really say anything yeah. um, just watch sit back um, which has got its good qualities but I realized some of the things that would hold me back was I got a lot of great things in my heart that would affect the world in really massive ways but because of my um, self-worth I just wouldn't express it because I think it would be, some of the stuff would be stupid ideas um, I just went home um, last weekend to a wedding and um, I was the best man and it went down absolutely amazing because I took that principle with me. You know, the best man speech is, you know, notoriously quite a scary thing to do. Um, but I got up there and before I got up there, I was like, do you know what? I know I'm a good guy. I've got some really great things to share with people. There's nothing to be scared in front of this crowd, uh, in front of the crowd. And I just passionately delivered what was in my heart about my friend who was getting married, about some of the stories. And the effect it had on the people was just amazing. It was laughing, crying, cheering, clapping. Um, it was so beautiful to see how me expressing myself affected the audience uh, in front of me. And uh, I took that away with me thinking, oh, if you do that with every single person who you meet, you never know what's going to happen. And um, afterwards, after I did my talk, so many people came up to me just saying how great it was. And um, so, yeah, there were some other speeches as well. And uh, funny enough, they did the same thing. They opened themselves and the crowd, you know, they laughed, they cried, they cheered. They, they got to feel their own emotions when the other person was like authentically fully expressing themselves as well. Um, and then even also that in that same weekend, I went for breakfast with my dad and my brother. And um, my brother started to talk about uh, sleep paralysis. And, um, you know, he must have been brave to say that he had this experience, maybe you felt a bit nervous about it. I felt like you felt a bit weird talking about sleep paralysis. Um, and then with that, my dad piped up and was just like, oh, do you know what, son, when I, when I was a kid, teenager, and in my 20s, I had that same experience. And then that, I also have, have had uh, sleep paralysis dreams as well. And so I got to share as well. I was like, yeah, that's happened to me as well. And so just by my brother being brave, talking about you know, his sleep paralysis experience, it helped my dad open up for him to talk about it, because I know that my dad wouldn't normally talk about those things. Um, and then I was able to share as well, and then what I realized was, oh, that's interesting how all the males in the family are having these sleep paralysis, either sleep states or dreams, I'm um, yet to discover what's going on there. But now, because we all opened and shared, um, I can go away with that information now and start to pray about what this sleep uh, paralysis is all about and um, see what the causes are. So it's just, just can't say enough how important it is to share and express your feelings at all times. <laughs> at all times, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm not, I'm not the master of it by no means uh, at the moment. But it's uh, just keeps, it's like God just keeps drip feeding me how important that is. Um, and I guess you know the old saying, "The truth sets you free," is just becoming more and more important and apparent. So I guess just this video is about encouraging that, really. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's it, it is so so important just sharing your feelings um, with other people as, as much as you can because you, when you're in that space, you, it allows your own feelings to come up. It, you know, it allows you to know the other person and it, it allows their feelings to come up as well. It brings you closer in terms of if you want to deal with the emotions together with that person, then you can both grow from that and then you can keep growing further. And obviously, you know, there'll be, there'll be issues if one person wants to deal with their emotion, the other person doesn't, then that will cause, you know, some issues in terms of love and truth. And then when that's the case, it's like, okay, the person who's dealing with their emotions has to kind of reconsider how they then engage with that person uh, as well. And because both myself and Perry, we want to deal with our emotions, we want to address them and feel through them. We have both managed to like move on from, um, what's happening before and now like our productivity levels have just got, like literally shot through the roof mm -hmm. um you know we're we're really in harmony with one another and what we want to do we've got a clear plan now and things are, so many things are just getting done um and you know it's like it's good because now you know it's it's like a real kind of even distribution as well of of, of all the tasks that we kind of do um, so that has been obviously a really awesome thing, um, and yeah, I think it's just been it's been a real good experience, and it's just something that I've definitely like encourage everyone 
um, who's watching to actually just experiment with it and yeah you will probably start feeling scared like you start getting some fear because I was like Perry before I was the, the type of guy who just used to uh, you know sit back and just observe other people and I never really used to like say how I felt about things and uh, before I came across Divine Truth, I always used to have, like once a month, I used to have like a sore throat, I used to get a sore throat. And it was like clockwork, like once a month for like the 10 years of my life before Divine Truth, I was getting like these sore throats. And it was because I realized afterwards when I went through some emotions, I was like, I know why I've been getting sore throats. And that's because I haven't been expressing my feelings to other people, I've just been like, bottling it in, yeah, been holding it in. And ever since I went through that emotion, I kid you not, for the last two years, I've not had one sore throat, like not one. Um, I, I don't know, you know, if it, it may happen again in the future or not, but I haven't, and that's because I've just been more expressive with my feelings to others. And it is, you, you know, something that no one ever like attributed to, to my nature or character beforehand until I mm. went through some emotions about that and some fears that I, I have about doing that, that, you know, people, I've realized that people, you know, can learn more about me and understand me, right? and then also, um, you know, it lets me just be myself properly, and, <laughs> and things can then progress, so it's, yeah, it's, there's a lot of lessons involved in it, to yeah. be honest. And what I realized as well is like your confidence grows as well in yourself, as you start to know yourself, you start to know, you know, what your strengths are, what your weaknesses are, what you need to work on, uh, and you get you get self-assured. I mean, you know, years ago, I would have never, ever, ever, ever put myself in front of a camera to do a YouTube because I would have just been too scared to share myself, or I'd have been too scared to think to myself, oh, the, the love that I feel is in my heart, what I want to share with the world, like you know, that's like a sign of weakness and stuff like that. I, I would have never dared want to bring love at the forefront you know, for the change of human mankind and like, I want to be the person who's involved in doing that. Like, I just wouldn't have shared myself, I'd have just been quiet and let the world go around and stay in the same condition. You know, I would have never dared to want to be that person who stands out in the front and, and, and go for it. And now that desire is just becoming stronger and stronger, my confidence grows, so I can see, I can, I can feel as well, like where the future's going. And it's, um, obviously it's still challenges and I still get, some fears coming up, but like I, I can see the beauty in it now. Whereas before, I was just way too scared. Just go through some of the the, the stumbling blocks in the beginning, and you you just don't know where where things are going to take you. So it's really interesting times at the moment for myself. Yeah. Yeah, I've uh, I've also realised beforehand when I didn't used to share my feelings with like other people. Um, that I could I could start feeling the effects of law of compensation yeah. happening on me. So. Like, like the law of conversation was, it kept putting me in situations with that person and stuff. And, uh, and also the interaction got, you know, a bit more intense, you know, in terms of, I was, I was almost being like pushed to a point where I almost had to like say something, otherwise it would get out of hand kind of thing. <laughs> and, uh, and I was feeling like all of this, you know, I, I could feel like increased levels of fear, obviously, because I've been putting it off and the more you put off, um, addressing some fears, the greater the fear becomes until, and that's like a law of compensation effect I've realized um, because you hadn't chose to address that issue earlier. So I've realized that it is just important, no matter how scared you feel, just to say what you're feeling to others. Um, and it's, it is a, like a massive thing. And the only reason why you wouldn't is because of either some addiction you have with that person or some fear that you have fears, yeah. so like addiction that oh yeah you know i just want to see, be seen as a nice guy i just want to be seen as uh, you know i just get along with everyone and you know there's no issues that are caused you know things can just go on smoothly and stuff because that's how it used to be before and uh, and then also on the flip side with the fears it's like oh if i say this to to uh to someone they're gonna think i'm you know uh, nasty they're gonna think i'm an idiot they're gonna think all of these things when but now it's like okay what i start reflecting on this okay how would god see this interaction through like i try to put myself through in like god's perspective 
And I realized very quickly when I have that trail of thought and I'm reflecting, I'm like, okay, right, I see what's going on now. Like, I'm either not wanting to change my addictions in this situation, or I don't want to f let my fears come up in this situation. And both of them are not love. <laughs> and it's not truth as well. So I'm not definitely not in harmony here from God's perspective about what's going on. So I was like, okay, like I'm gonna experiment with it. I'm just gonna do it, let everything come up. And from that point, you can grow. Like you, you give yourself that opportunity to, to actually grow and um, it, it gives you that chance to actually emotionally work through either the addiction or the fears until you get to a point where you're just like, you know what? Like, this is the right thing to do. You stop feeling your heart, like it's the right thing to do in all these different areas. And you're like, oh yeah, I'll do that. And it starts becoming like an automatic process and whatnot. And I've realized how certain fears and, or addictions that, that, that can linger for a while, even when you emotionally process through some of it, there's still like a little bit of fear there still. And it's like, you, you still keep engaging in the experiment. You keep going, you just keep repeating it being humble to feelings as they come up. And then also I've realized that the feelings become like less intense as well. Like initially when you first feel the fear or, or you're feeling the uncomfortableness of not challenging the addiction, it's pretty intense that initial feeling. But then if you keep repeating in the action and letting the feelings come up, they get less and less and they have less of an effect on you in terms of you being able to be in harmony with God's truth and be in harmony with love and in harmony with yourself in the situations. Um, until obviously a point where it's totally gone and it's totally gone from your soul then and then you can just be yourself at all times. Yeah, just, just to add on to what Nicky said then, each time you go through one of those processes you feel so much joy within yourself because you've, uh, you've honoured your soul, like you've said how you were feeling and, and that integrity just gives you this so much joy, you're like yes, I actually said how I was feeling, I didn't try and play up to someone and um, and even if they don't take what you were saying the way you wanted to, like you don't mind because you know that you honoured your feelings. Um, and, and consequently, even if you said something and you were wrong about whatever, it still doesn't matter. You still honoured your feelings and it's that honour, honouring your own soul, which is, which is where you get the joy from. And if you did make a mistake, it doesn't matter. You can learn and you can grow from it. But you still honoured yourself and it just gives you so much uh, pride in yourself and encouragement to want to do it again. So Yeah, yeah. and then uh, again, if you don't honour yourself, oh, there feels, goes your chance. Yeah. You feel terrible because that's the immense. instant compensation on your soul. You start feeling, oh, why did I do that again? So you feel that instant compensation effect on your soul. Well then also, if you, if you choose not to honour yourself, you lose that another opportunity to grow. Like you just keep losing these opportunities that God's providing to us constantly to grow. You're just like, oh no, I don't want to deal with that. I don't want to deal with that. And you, you start like the pain starts accumulating in your life and it gets bigger and bigger and bigger. Um, so, you know, it's like, it's, it's a lot about experimenting this whole process. It's about, okay, thinking, okay, relating back to the teachings of Jesus and Mary Magdalene and thinking, okay, so Jesus and Mary have presented this in this presentation. Let yourself, you know, become refreshed with the material. Reflect on it a bit, ponder about it, pray about it, and then just go ahead and, and do it and then see what happens. And, and I've realized that's where the growth occurs. Yeah, and the law of attraction will work perfectly. You'll just get presented the situation and then your awareness will start to kick in. You, you'll get the feeling, ooh, this is where I've got to say something where I haven't said something before. Here's my chance. And if you don't say anything, you'll go away. And you'll be like, oh, damn. <laughs> and then it'll happen again. And uh, you'll be like, if you don't say anything again, the feeling's like, oh, no, I didn't do it again. But then eventually, you know, <laughs> it becomes either so painful or you, in the end, you just decide you want to honor your soul. Like, you'll go and do it. And then you'll just feel the joy. Yeah. Um, I can give you an example. Like, just the other week, me and Nikki were playing pool. Um, in, a, in, in this hotel and yeah. um, this other girl wanted to join in and play with us because she was just on her own but when me and Nikki go there like we really just want to play on our own just because we don't get to do it very often and so the girl came over and she asked us if, if she could well, join Well the girl in. actually didn't come over herself she oh, asked yeah. one of the the, the bar uh, girls in the bar to ask on her behalf yeah. to us yeah. which I was, was like okay that's a bit off anyway but <laughs> yeah and um so she came over and asked, and because 
some of my injuries to women are saying yes to women and placating and don't want to you know upset a woman like I almost said oh yeah of course you can come across and play but my real feeling was no I just want to play with Nikki <laughs> like I've got half an hour to play a pool I, I, I want to catch up with him and uh, yeah. you know have a bit of banter and play some pool and so I told the waitress we were like um, no we're I, I, yeah <laughs> I, I could saw I could see myself saying oh yeah but then I was like no so I was yeah. just like no we don't want her to come and she thought we were joking. <laughs> the, the waitress girl. Yeah, yeah, the waitress was like, I, we saw this puzzled face on her. Obviously she's being used to people saying yes. And we're like, no, we just want to play on our own. Yeah. And, like, um, and so off she went and told the girl. And she was obviously feeling pressured, the, the waitress girl. Cause she yeah. was like, oh, cause these guys said no, now I've got to go back and tell this girl, <laughs> you know, that the, that the guys don't want to play pool with her. So it, it brought up feelings for the bar girl, yeah. like the waitress lady. And then it also brought, you know, like our feelings came up about like honouring ourselves over what women want out want of us, us to do. want yeah. us to do. But then also that situation will then have brought up feelings for the girl in the first place. Like maybe that girl could have started feel, feeling feelings of, ah, oh, no guys like me, you know. Yeah. And then also maybe her, some of her anger might have come up, maybe some demands that she was had out on other people to say things and do things on her behalf wasn't met by that bar girl and then you know she would have mm -hmm. maybe start feeling that anger and then the bar girl obviously you know she would have been like oh no like she probably would have started feeling her own fears about things as well so it's like just that one little thing yeah shows how much of an effect it can have a positive effect on all the other people involved and it gives that chance for everyone to grow if people want to feel the feelings yeah and the best thing was me and nikki got to play ball we felt loads of joy from that we had a great time we had a great time yeah <laughs> Yeah, so, that's a, that's a yeah, win -win. <laughs> wicked example, yeah. And then also, one thing I like to add as well is that when you are in a situation with somebody and you're like, okay, I, I really feel like I should share my feelings here, you can you can feel your guide more as well. Like your guides yeah. give you that feeling as well. They're like, okay, yeah. come on, this is a chance now. You can actually yeah. um, share yourself and be in some truth here. And you can feel that, you can feel that, um, that feeling it's like come an in. Impression, yeah, it, yeah. Onto, yeah, yeah. You feel that feeling come in into you from an outside source. You can feel your guy just give you that feeling, and it's and it's like you kind of feel it is in harmony with truth because you feel like the love in the mm. in the impression that you get. So it's like you just got to be sensitive to feeling these things and also just being humble to the situation. Yeah. yeah. So I think that's Must all we wanted to share. Yeah, basically. Um, yeah. Anything else? No, I think that's it, mate, yeah. Um, we hope that the recording has uh, gone okay. We're not too sure yet. Um, and, uh, and yeah, hopefully um, it will be of a decent quality on YouTube. Uh, again, as I said at the start, it's another little experiment for us with the technology side of things. So yeah, I hope you guys found uh, this video of benefit. Yep. I know me, myself and Perry, I've, we, we've loved recording this and we just find it great how, you know, when we have these experiences to feel through it ourselves and come to, you know, the truth of situations. And then it's like, it would be good, oh, it's like, ah, oh, like I think this would be a good thing to share on the channel for other people. Yeah. So it's like, it's really awesome and we love doing it. So, uh, so yeah. Cool, hope you go off and uh, enjoy expressing yourself and seeing what, <laughs> what happens, happens in your life. <laughs> um, don't be scared, go and do it. And uh, yeah, we'll see you next time when we present our next uh, video. Yeah. Thanks very much. Cheers, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.